Notre Dame led by the Kavanaugh Brotherhood. They've got the Irish on the verge of a second straight title. Meanwhile, the pioneers of Denver look to conjure that perfect cocktail for a mountain-shaking upset. They've got a first-year head coach in Matt Brown. They'll play for that trophy. All-Americans will lynch for Notre Dame. Alex Stathakis for Denver, and it's the Irish who win the first face-off. Lynch came into the game number two nationally in face-off win percentage. Stathic is not far behind in the top ten. And after Notre Dame controlled the opening draw, Denver able to win it back. These first possessions are kind of gauging matchups, gauging defensive strategies. Throwing jabs before Haymakers. Pat Cavanaugh, bounce shot. Cleveland takes away the angle. Noah Manning now. To X, big Richie Connell as they work on Silstrop. And Connell beats Entman upstairs. That is 6-5, 205, the Richmond transfer. Strong, left-handed. Watch him invert from behind the net. Notre Dame is slow to double team. And he beats Entman up top. A great start for the Pios. When you watch Richie Connell, what's unique about him on tape is he does not have to blow by a defender to score. He can shoot through you. Stathakis and Lynch for round two. Lynch last year, 60% plus during championship weekend. Will Donovan, the All-American, had the ground ball. Denver able to get it back. A.J. Mercurio, he's a threat in transition. Expelliarmus. Notre Dame thinks they can do some wing dodges, kick, kick it behind, and then get ball movement for step-down shots. Se it, Denver will give you the outside shot. Second midfield creating offense. Will Angrick down the alley. Chris Cavanaugh, the quick stick finish. It's 1-1. Probably the hardest shooter on the Denver team, but the trail check creates instant offense. They will ride you day and night. And at the other end, Angrick does a great job. There's no double team there. The defender is just cheating towards the slot area. And Kavanaugh sneaks to that back, back post. It's a spot feed right on the money. Shot clock coming up on 10. Kavanaugh snakes around the crease. Feeds Taylor. Turbo Ooh. between the leg shot. It's not there. And Denver plays it back to Kleben. He has got a bag of magic tricks, whether it's one-handed, twisters, behind the backs, shovel shots. Mercurio's shot turned away by Entman. Over to Chris Cavanaugh. Di Benedetto on him. Di Benedetto, terrific last week against Joey Spolina. Cavanaugh changes direction, got top side, no angle. Lieben is there. All conference last year struggled with his shooting accuracy this year. There's the skip pass. Malowski, who had a big quarterfinals, tries to play it back to the speedy Lampert. Sean Light, 90 and white, just a true freshman, second team All-American, creating havoc. Here come the Irish, they've got the run out. Pat Cavanaugh, shot score. We'll go between the legs and put pressure on a defense and make you think. And then there's the functionality of the school's all-time leading scorer, 51 and white, Pat Cav has come to the party. This team has no weaknesses up and down from Entman to Kavanaugh and everyone in between. You feel like there's a focus, there's a relaxed focus, but they know they're the best team in college lacrosse. Connell again on the invert this time. Entman takes away that high shot. 10 minutes into the game, here's their third midfield. Fisher Finley got a great look. Kleban makes the save. It'll stay with the Irish. Now Bryce Walker. From Austin, Texas. Skip pass. Seymour spun around. He hits the deck. Ball's on the ground. And we're going to get a loose ball push. It's against the Irish Denver ball. And he's lightning in a shot glass. That one knocked down by Will Donovan. Battle for the loose ball. And Chris Conlon comes away with it for Notre Dame. Free Hill, eyeing Pat Cavanaugh, 51 and white. 
Best player in the history of Notre Dame lacrosse. Using the pick, skip to his brother Chris. Behind the back, flying toward the cage. Instead of putting your left hand, go airborne, young man, and stick it. It's a backside cut. They've got eyes for each other. The catch and watch a plant. The goal mouth is in lacrosse to allow the dive, but also to per protect the goaltender. And he does such a wonderful job of diving to the tangent of that inner cone. Walowski all the way to the cage. Antonin standing tall. And he was in the crease. Obviously, Chris Hogan played lacrosse, played in the NFL. Cole Kastner, who you'll see later from Virginia today, will play basketball at Stanford next year. Equalizer for Denver. It's the Speedy Lampert. Energy spark. He's got the matchup against the short stick defender. Okay, typically Notre Dame would double team, but they leave him on an island. And Lampert makes him pay. The senior from Massachusetts, an energy guy, an ankle breaker, great acceleration. Turn the corner. Shot out of a cannon. I talked to him yesterday. He said his idol growing up was Jordan Wolf. The straight line speed dodges. The afterburners end. Silstrop plays it back up top. Still plenty of time to shoot after the reset. Good look and a score. And they cash in here. Avery maximizes potential with a packed in Notre Dame defense. You have the best goalie in school history in Entman. You want to force outside shots. Well, yeah, Manning out there. Denver will mix and match its midfield units. Shot on the run. Entman keeps it in front. Donovan grabs the rebound. Donovan in transition. Does Notre Dame push? Here's Kavanaugh. He's got a trailer. Hits the trailer. Buckner shot. Save Cleveland. Now you're going to have to throw it away. Kelly with two. With one shot save, Entman. The nine midfielders on offense. So they shorten the bench right here to give some, some more potent plays. Kleben turns that one away. That was Angrick to booze and kill. Second midfield Best for Notre Dame. Now Best the run. The, the Kavanaugh's, Piranhas, Kavanaugh. Chris wins it back. Great D on the corner. Great D on the corner. That was Casey Wilson, their top shorty. Now Pat Kavanaugh, bounce shot, eighth save for Kleben. He's come up big, Angrick on the rebound, hits the crossbar. Big ground ball, restraining area, bodies flying. Loose ball push against Notre Dame, Denver ball. Connell looks like the primary initiator for Denver. Big left-handed shot from the outside, Antimon gobbles. The 6'4", Jalen Seymour. Bryce Walker, great feet inside, slam dunk, Jake Taylor. Ding in the iron, Will Angrick from point blank range. At the other end, Liam Entman is like Spider-Man. Jake Taylor doesn't miss from close. I was just in the defense of Hunter John Gallant, the defensive coordinator, said they're too eager inside, and then Jordan Faison makes him pay for the wing. You ask anybody associated with the program, he was their best wide receiver, MVP in the Sun Bowl. You see the quiet confidence now building. This spring, double duty, spring football and lacrosse, and now he's kind of turned it up a notch here in May. Yeah, his feet are ridiculous. You saw the hard plant foot with that right foot to get the defender to bite. Chris Cavanaugh looking to shake Di Benedetto. It's a very important three-minute stretch now if you're a Denver fan. Behind the cage, Boozenkill takes a hit. Back up to Denver, Max Boozenkill. He gets it to Connell. Now Silstrop, who's been quiet. He's Denver's leading scorer. No shots today. Nick Kelly, shot clock into single digits. Good look here, potentially. Connell turns and scores. Quinn, you called it out. He's feeling hot right now, and he buries this one. Kelly does a great job. 21 in the crimson up top. Back and forth, yo-yoing. He rolls back to his right. Connell senses that. 
and sneaks from behind the net. And again, that frame, he's six foot five. You see Ramsey, 24, try to block that shot. For whatever reason, Entman's down on a knee. Connell's got a pair. In the first half against Syracuse, did finish with two goals. Silstrop sets the tone for this offense. You go back to week one. Upset win at Hopkins when they were down by a handful. It was all Silstrop. Stathakis had the face off one, then coughs it up. Unsettled Notre Dame. And how is that not a push from the back? It should be. They'll say in the crease. Wow. wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Good. Denver has the best man down defense in the country we've yet to see in EMO. Kelly wheeling down the alley all the way, and Antiman goes low to make the save. Devin McLean, their top scoring midi. Pat Cavanaugh, he can attack from anywhere. He's comfortable up top. Turbines away from his defender. Shoots on the run and scores. That's two for Pat Cavanaugh. Look at the save by Liam Entman. First team All-American, ice in the veins. Quint, this is where Pat Cavanaugh's game has evolved the most, I think, between last year and this year. He's dodging all over the offensive set. His wing dodge puts close defenders in such a pickle because they're used to playing the contact game behind the cage and on goal line extended. He plays in space and he dominates the matchup. 86 miles per hour from Silstrop. Great handle by Malowski dealing with the double team. Lampert, seven to shoot. That hits the side of the net and it trickles in. Watch this ball kick around off the Lampert shot. Poked, poked by Malowski. Crashed the crease. Young man who played in the indoor game. You know, Quinn, I think there's opportunities with Lampert with the speed game. Sean Light has played as well as any freshman defender in the country. Very little in transition, unsettled sets for Notre Dame today. Dobson, crease feed, shot, score. That is McLean, and it's 7-5. Played up in Providence with the ball in his stick quite a bit this year. More of an off-ball presence. He's shooting just a slither under 50%. He has been automatic in those spots. And Quint, when you put him and Jake Taylor inside, it is problems. Dobson snaps that feed right on the money. Down the alley on Ramsey. Denver gets the step. Feed inside. Antiman denies on the doorstep. It's an Irish team. That is 34 and 3 in its last 37 games. Dobson to the left hand, and he unleashes the cannon. Point blank in the stick at the other end. The senior from Fleming Island, Florida, with a flamethrower on the run. He's been a veteran on the Notre Dame midfield for the last few years. Here's Chris Cavanaugh. Finds Taylor. There's that sneaky shot. We get a flag down. First penalty. Plus, with Denver continuing to block shots this season. They've done this all year long. And Notre Dame turns it over. So, in a first battle between the best man up and the best man down unit in the country, a win for Denver. Piles give it right back. Here comes Pat Cavanaugh leading the charge. Finds his brother, Chris, who provides the exclamation. You're never safe clearing the rock. The piranhas are out, and they're cashing in, brother to brother. The city of brotherly love became turnover city for Denver. There are so many weapons for Notre Dame. One of them is their short stick D midi, Ben Ramsey. Today, Quint, three cause turnovers, four ground balls. They said, you're going to be playing in front of more cameras than you've played in front of all season long. We will get you, we'll find you. So play it as clean as possible. Now Denver needs a counter punch. It's a 3-0 Notre Dame run. That's too easy for Liam Entman. 
You know, where did it all start, too? When Jake Taylor was inserted yes. in the starting lineup. Yes, I, I was doing that game. It was a late March game at Arlotta. Inserted into the lineup with eight goals in the inside game of Notre Dame. Became complete. It let Pat Cavanaugh play the perimeter. Less than 10 to shoot. Pat Cavanaugh slips. Ooh. He's getting, he's getting mauled. He's Mercurio be... tries to rake it away. Shot clock violation. And now what can Denver do here with 12.9? Pio's down by four. Lampert, five seconds. Fires on goal. Entman is right there. We go to the fourth quarter. And so far, it's been 13. lopsided. Will Lynch is right now. 11 for 13. Another dominant performance. And Matt Brown has his hands full. Dobson. There is Cleveland's first save of the second half. you got to wonder, what shape is J.J. Silstrop in? We saw him be fourth quarter Hercules earlier this season against Johns Hopkins. Carlson down the alley. Bounce shot. Score. Now playing back in Denver. Crosses over. Strong top hand movement across his face. Yeah, he stares down Dobson. Joshua Carlson, what makes that goal is he doesn't switch to his left hand permanently. Brings it back to the right so he can keep that angle. If he shoots that lefty, Entman is going to stuff him. That's running from end to end because I think it's going to be really hard to beat this Notre Dame defense. Six on six for three straight goals. McLean gets inside and puts it through. You can't turn over the rock. Lampert gets a short stick matchup. He forces it inside, gobbled up by the freshman light, and then McLean going to work like he did at Brown, carrying the rock cue. A little bit of an S dodge. It's underneath, and then back in front of the goal. Right there, he steps away. The defender lunges and steps at you. You hit a little gas, and you turn that corner working upfield. Yeah. They got 25 seniors or grad students on this roster. McLean looking for a hat trick. Somehow finds an angle falling down. The Irish lead is five. Quinn, you mentioned McLean not with the blazing speed. It's the awareness and the body control. It was the stutter on the last goal. This time, he feels the defensive pressure right here. And then he gives the rocker to get a clean break and get his hands free. Classic rocker step. The fake inside roll, you come back upfield. In his case, he's got to launch upfield. He catches a break. It hits the defender's right glove. It hits Freehill's right hand, and look at the reaction. Cleveland's on it. Can't believe that that ball actually ends up in the net. Yeah. And now the mountain got much steeper for Denver. Lynch and the Irish pressing downhill. Boom! Nick Harris from the wing off the faceoff win by Lynch. With that defense, with, with that attackman, if they lose a draw, you got two Kavanaugh's and Harris, who's in for Taylor. And Harris, even the shorties can rip it. Dublin, Ohio, valedictorian of his high school class. Again, he's one of the grad students. Been there, done that. Pat Kavanaugh. Now Fisher Finley. Or rather, uh, yeah, Fisher Finley. Denver comes away with it. Scrappy grounders. Lampert. First team all Big East. He's got that quick first step. Richie Connell's been quiet in the second half. Entman with another save. He's up to a dozen. He left his job. He left his job late and joined this team. And Napolitano's a guy who waited his turn at Notre Dame behind the back shot by Kavanaugh to put the ribbon and wrapping paper on another Notre Dame beatdown. Burlington. This team is built on experience. It's built on creativity, grit, and they know the winning ways. The Irish are smelling Monday. about Notre Dame's ascension, much like Clemson football for years, the team that couldn't win the big game, the team that stubbed its toe, to now a program that plays big opponents like they always have, but they win those games. They win them consistently, and they win on the big stage. A seven-goal semifinal win for Notre Dame.
And the Irish will defend their crown on Memorial Day.